obviously. It's kind of true. It's true. It's kind of real. <laughs> Let's go, girls. The queen of country Come on. needs little introduction. I'm going out tonight. I'm tonight, I was doing some research about you, and everyone seems to start with the word icon. What does it feel like to be an icon? Well, I don't feel like an icon. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's supposed to feel like. It is a compliment, though, however. <laughs> But as far as how does it feel, yeah. I don't really feel like an icon, you know. But I am celebrating a long career, let's put it that way, yeah. Okay, so you're a rocket scientist. That don't impress me much. Her career spans four decades, making Shania Twain the best-selling female country singer in history. But recent throat surgery meant she almost lost her voice. This is the first album after the surgery. How much has it made you realize how important your voice is that you could have lost it? Yeah, that's partially why the album is so celebratory because I'm like belting it out and I'm hitting all the notes I can hit and just having a lot of fun with it. And a lot of fun rediscovering my new voice as well. New elements in it that you know, weren't there before. This album it was getting to know my new voice for sure. I left my heart and water in a hole somewhere. Queen of Me is her sixth studio album with a new voice and deliberately upbeat after surviving a COVID scare. Now I've got my happy album. You know, Queen of Me, that's what I'm calling it. My happy album, it's my cheer up album. Seems quite emotionally intelligent as well. It feels like, you know, you know things can go wrong, but you can have the power to make yourself feel better. You do have the power to make yourself feel better. That's the whole point. Self-empowerment, really, that's what that is. You know, you, of course you can change your, your mood and your spirit. Music is the best medicine. That's my advice. So, you know, um, put on a happy record and it does. It makes you feel happier. Shania Twain is in London to take part in the Brit Awards this weekend but told us she won't be appearing on stage with her friend, Harry Styles. And this year, controversially, there are no female nominees. They've decided to put the non-gender specific awards, so it's not man or woman, it's non-binary. And what's ended up this year, it's all men. So to use your phrase, like, man, there are no women. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Personally, I'm just interested in the talent. And I think it's quite brave to take a stance that's probably getting criticized or may get criticized. It's courageous, I think. Do you know I adore you? And Shania Twain will be back in town later this year with a tour. You know, the other day someone said, try a London accent. And I'm like, listen, if I, I can do like a, a, like a hodgepodge of many British accents together, I don't know. It's a little bit of everything. Shania, we have to we have to hear it now. Talk. So if you say the word talk, what what which British accent is that? Talk. Yeah, that's a kind of a posh talk. 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 Hello, I'm talking like that. I'm talking like that. I talk like that. That would be my English accent. I think it's a good. It's a, I think it's the Queen <laughs> good, of Countries good, uh, accent. Good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for letting me off the hook. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you very much. I think we're out of time, but um, thank you so much. Thank you so much.